<laughs> Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Dragon Fable. All right, so I'm gonna apologize right out the gate if uh, the display looks a little weird because OBS. Okay, Arctic Games recently updated their launcher. So I went and updated that, and for whatever reason, it seems like the uh, launcher isn't jiving with uh, OBS. Like it refuses to capture the uh, actual launcher. So I went back and put this in like the uh, browser and uh, on Chrome, and that's how I'm capturing this, just using the full screen and all that. So. Yeah, apologies if it looks a little off. It doesn't look that different from what I'm looking at here. It just, uh, you know. All right, know your nature. Those decadre really must be st or must be really strong to beat me, but I'll trounce them soon. I just need to practice a bit. I know I, uh, the first few episodes of this series I ended up doing in the browser, and then I switched to just the launcher, but I don't know. I'm trying to think of if that was directly linked to getting blank recordings every now and then, or they wouldn't be blank, but they'd be like, hour, you know, I'd record for an hour. And it'd be on a still image for about 15 minutes, and then shift to another one, or something like that. Alright. Anyway, Nathera, I almost didn't make it in time. I wasn't sure, and I didn't know. But then I got there, and you were hurt, and... Easy, youngling. The dragon child is safe, thanks to you. Your mistress would be proud, and so am I. Excuse me. In saving Nathera, you have done the creation show. A great service. But she's still hurt. No, I'm alright, really. I'm just a little shaky. It's a good thing that bolt to my head didn't mess up my hair. <laughs> really? It still looks alright. You're just joking to make me feel better, aren't you? Maybe a little, but I am going to be alright. And now I know that I don't know quite enough to face the decadere on my own. I said that really weird this time, or that last time. I will need to practice and grow stronger, spend my time studying my new powers. Now that, I should, now that I've got some back, I should practice, right? Smiles weakly, right. I think I won't be around you when you practice. When I do magic, weird things happen, or at least they have so far. Damn. <laughs> Young one, you saved Nathera, your magic acted as... You needed it to when you needed it to the most. That is a good start. Oh. There was this long strand of hair that was like touching my hand that I thought was just like a loose piece of hair. You know how I just shed sometimes? No, this one was still attached. It was just unnaturally long. Mithera, child, you have realized that your powers are not enough yet to be enabled to enable you to face the Decadre. It is my thought that you must align your dragon nature with your human nature more fully. Now you have awakened the first of your new powers. How do I do that? We shall send you to the dragon lords. Like the, like the dragon lords is in, like what my character is when he's riding his dragon. Well versed in dragonkin by talking with them, you will learn how ordinary humans view those touched by the dragons. Eliza can go with you. She will. She can introduce you to her parents. They will help you, I have no doubt. I believe they are staying in Falcon Reach at present. Really? Mama, Papa. Um, Amara? Oh, Eliza, it's so good to see you. <laughs> okay, this guy right here, the dad, he just looks like a random fighter. In, like... <laughs> 
Anyway. You are looking so well, and the glow about you, I can see that life with Celestia agrees with you. Gervin. <laughs> you might not become a dragon lord, but I have no doubt that you will do us and our dragons proud one day, daughter. But who is this with you? I am Nathera. You might have heard of me. Ah, yes, I think we have. Oh, hey, Celestia is just chilling out back there. Or not Celestia, um, Serenity. Orlick's young apprentice, aren't you? Grr, so much more than that, if only they realized. Must stay polite, <laughs> need their help. Yes, that's me. I've only un I've unlocked some of my magic now. The dragon magic. The eldest creatio wanted me to talk to you to see how you view dragons. That is a very easy request to accommodate. Of course we will help you, but before we discuss that, Amara and I were on our way to deal with an issue when the two of you entered the inn. We, must, we really mustn't delay investigating any longer. Father is right, Eliza. I'm sorry, Nathara. But I really need to talk to you. It's important. Wait, just what is this issue if it deals with dragons? Well, I'm half dragon. Maybe I can help. Hmm, it may be dangerous. I'm not sure I want you young women exposed to, exposed to such vileness. Nathera's actually like 200 years old. Oh dear, look at our daughter, so grown and learning things about dragons we be, can't begin to comprehend. And her friend looks well suited to dealing with something of this nature. There is an air of capability surrounding her. Let them come with us. Very well. We will be traveling to a storage facility which houses troublesome creatures that we dragon lords must deal with. If you feel faint or unable to continue, we'll have to leave you at the facility's entrance and continue on. So best to be sure that you want to come with us. Once we're in the mountain, we may face danger. If we get separated, just keep following the path to, hold, to the main holding area. Uh, someone as skilled as I am, I've never fainted in my life. We'll be fine. Trust us. We've had word that more mundane monsters and less that more of the mundane monsters, less of the dangerous ones, in the facility of broken free. Our target is still locked up, thankfully, but we'll need you to be careful as we make our way through the holding area. I'm sure I can handle anything we come up against. Don't worry so much. Both Nathera and I have defenses and attacks. <laughs> that, was, that seems like a weird thing to say. Alright, let's get going. Oh, great. Mushrooms. Uh... You know what the crazy thing is? I feel like this is moving smoother than it did while I was playing it on the launcher. Which is bizarre, because I'd figure that, like, the native app that they designed would be better than playing it in the browser. Um... I don't know why I didn't go for like a killing blow quicker on this thing. For some reason I thought I'd just be able to kill it with my regular old attacks quicker than I did. Like I feel like the last time I was recording that dragon roar took way longer to do. two of you. We'll hit you guys with this one. That was underwhelming. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill the mushroom with the uh,
Oh, it's not dead. Lame. I'm not gonna get too bent out of shape about like my health and stuff because A, I can use that rain move. And B, I'm gonna level up soon so all my stats will be restored. Uh, next thing. See, like, that was a lot faster to get through as well. I felt, uh, I'm pretty sure last time I recorded, I just didn't use that attack, mostly because it felt like it was taking a long time to animate. <laughs> you see her get stuck on the background or whatever there? That was kind of humorous. Um... Maybe I overestimated how close I was to leveling up. <laughs> Whatever, I should still be able to manage with like rain and such. There we go. Give me the MPs. Interesting. Oh, I skipped a dialogue. Hmm, this one looks young. I can handle this. I'm attuned to void magic, and if this creature is soaked in the essence of a void element, I might have, have all, I might not have all my powers, but I'm certain I can handle this little trouble for you. That would be most appreciated. We're still not sure how this one appeared. If you if, as you say, it is from the void, perhaps a random portal opened to somewhere. Gervin will lower the shield for now. Nathera, stand back. Or, for you now, Nathera. Stand back, Eliza. Uh, yes, heal, please. Decadre, youngling. I think it has more HP than most of the void monsters did. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, do this. Ancient power courses through your veins. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Ow. Ow, void breath, gross. Oh, I can stun it again. That's that was weird. Um, we'll hit it with this one next. Ha, nerd. Uh, I guess I should check its resistance real quick. Of course, bacon. One that I am clearly, you know, I have at my disposal. Ow. Ow. You know, I really appreciate that her stun move, although not as long as the one that my character has, recharges really quick. I'm a fan of that. Oh, I got Void Breath again. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with this. Heh, <laughs> you missed, nerd. Da -da -da -da. 
I'll just use haste again. Got him. Ooh, that's intense. Her eyes got all purple. Did she just absorb it? I guess we've rendered that threat null and void. <laughs> Oh, she's got wings. <laughs> oh my, that was unexpected. What does it mean? Uh. What did Nathera just do? Scepter. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna check how long I've been recording this real quick. 16 minutes. That's not too shabby. But it felt like it took longer than that. I thought it was more in the ballpark of 20. Yeah, we should definitely be able to get this quest chain done in a timely manner with the rate we're going. A bridge forms. Ooh, I feel funny. That little decadre couldn't have hurt me. But I feel weird now. I received... Why is he, why is he in dragon form all of a sudden? I trust your meeting with the dragon lords went well. Oh, they talk to me, all right. That father of Elise, uh, Eliza's can talk for hours. He went on and on about how wonderful dragons are, which is true, and how majestic they look, <laughs> which we do, and how cultivating relationships with dragons, mankind, and how by cultivating relationships with dragons, mankind can better the world, which makes sense. But we didn't do any of that until after I took on the Etikadre dragon on my own and won. I do not mean to be rude, little one, but you battled a full-grown Etikadre on your own and without your full powers? Well, it was a small one. It might have been a baby. Ah, now it becomes clear. <laughs> but it was still a Etikadre, and I beat it. Which means that once I have all my powers, I'll be able to take on an adult and win. That is our hope. That is what we will work towards, but tell me, did anything happen when you slew the young Decadre? Oh, then you mention it. Yes. It exploded into a shower of sparks, which then flew around me and then into me. Void dragon sparks tickle. <laughs> oh, I love this game. <laughs> oh, oh my, that does change things. I see. I must think. Yes, yes, that will work. What are you talking about? Stand still, child. It's gonna, like, fire breath me? That was weird. Why did you do that? Your breath smells like fire and pickled fish. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Calm yourself, young one. I was testing something. And I've been proven correct. You've taken the essence of the Decadre Void Dragon. Now, oh, taking yourself the essence of... Yeah, by absorbing the sparks you saw. That will make it possible for you to act as a bridge between us and our wayward brethren. You shall unite us. You shall save us. She seems so unimpressed. Our salvation lies within you. Next time, warn me before breathing into my face, all right? But good thing I know about the bridge thing. I wondered how I was going to save you. Oh, I knew I'd come up with something. I always do, but this seems easy enough. Might be a bit harder than you expect. So does this mean you'll give me my void magic, too? I really should have that if I'm going to confront the Decadre again. Which I'll need to do if I'm going to even unite the two of you. I think I've been doing well so far, don't you? I'm sure Warlick would agree. Whether Warlick approves or not, now I do... Wait, 
Whether or not Warlick approves of you now, I do, and, oh, I do, and as your guardianship has been given over to us, we decide when you are ready to assume the rest of your powers. But, but I would say that time has come. Oh, well, good. I completely agree. There is one impediment, however, to be taught vo the intricacy intricacies of void magic. You must learn from one of your own blood. I will lift the restriction on your void magic enough so that you will be able to learn from your ancestor, but not use it until after you've been taught. Oh, that was spooky. My light just, like, flickered. <laughs> Once you've undergone your lessons, your new magic will become available to you. But my mother doesn't have void magic, and my father is human. I can't learn from my parents. You'll have to teach me. That is not possible. Like, sings to the like... The void magic, or like, sing, whatever. The void magic in your veins will only recognize another of your bloodline. If there is no living to teach you, you must journey to the land of the dead and find one of your kin there. Perhaps, if I recall correctly, you had an ancestor. Azhira, many years gone, she wielded void magic. A mighty dragoness, she was an innovator and explorer, and her sacrifice saved us all. Though few knew about it. You should see her out. She will, I am sure, instruct you. You will feel drawn to her spirit. You will know her when you come upon her. Oh boy. Gerberus. <laughs> uh, how is it only mine? It's only got a slight weakness to light attacks. That's a bummer. Not to mention my regular attacks won't do squat. <laughs> I don't want to use these unnecessarily, but I can't, like, do anything. Here, I'll do this one. Red Spectre. Alright, that thing's a little more weak. There's Arctic when you need them, right? You can feel a tugging inside of you, pulling you forward with a sense of where you must go. Shadow Hound. I wouldn't call that thing a hound. It looks more like an angry turtle dinosaur. You know what I mean? Like it's got a turtle shell looking thing on its back. But it's got like a dinosaur face and general body makeup. I hope I don't sound crazy. <laughs> Fighting things is going to get a whole lot harder when I run out of mana <laughs> and can't spam the... Uh, oh, crud. I forgot about that. I just wanted to attack normally. Man. Yeah. 